The surprising productivity of North American shale gas wells is no fluke, and policymakers can rely on natural gas for low carbon generation for the coming decades. But there's no certainty that the North American experience can be replicated elsewhere. Those were the messages from speakers Wednesday at IHS CIRA Week here in Houston. CIRA Chairman Daniel Jurgen released a new study looking at whether shale gas discoveries are sustainable, and the study concluded they are. So we saw natural gas moving from what had been uh, a sense of constraint uh, to a sense of abundance. It was only around 2003 that the firm conviction took hold uh, that the United States was going to meet its growing demand, meet its gap between supply and really North America, be the gap between supply and demand uh, by importing LNG, and the United States was going, and North America was going to be very integrated into a global energy market. And yet it was at the, the same time that the, this innovation in a very incremental way was uh, unfolded. Can we rely upon the early results to be representative of the long-term results? And we began to divide up between the sweet spots, um, the surrounding, if you like, tier two areas, down into what is currently not uh, economically viable, but maybe at some point in the future. And what you find is actually that the resource base um, that is in that sweet spot and, and highly commercial area uh, it takes you out in terms of uh, an equivalent gas price necessary to underwrite the development uh, out past the 900 trillion cubic feet of gas before you end up needing the gas price to move from where it is. That's an awful lot of years of supply. But the CIRA experts said the power industry is responding slowly to the influx of natural gas, in large part because generators are built for 40 plus years and there's great uncertainty over carbon restrictions in the long term. If you're going to build gas-fired power plants, particularly to displace coal-fired power plants, you know, the problem that you have is you do start to bump up against some of the emissions limits that people are talking about over the lifetime of the plants that you would be building. And there's the question for the global gas industry. Can the North American experience be replicated elsewhere? Three top oil and gas company officials say Probably not. We don't have uh, what you had in the U.S., which was clearly a driving force for the for the unconventional gas. It's all these all small companies, very professional, very dynamic, very uh, uh, innovative, uh, that has really pushed the unconventional gas in, in the U.S. All over in 2030, shale gas worldwide could represent something around 5 to 7 percent of the overall gas production, which basically means that it is important, it is a subject to be uh, taken care of, it is of course especially in the U.S. where non-conventional gas will represent uh, in the next decade something close to 50 percent of the overall gas production. It's a big subject. Nevertheless, its size at the world level uh, is not big enough to create a paradigm shift. We have a com common or a combined team of Chesapeake and Statoil experts that are now looking into shale gas uh, opportunities outside uh, the US to determine the potential. Uh, we are not yet in a position where we can conclude that uh, shale gas will, will make uh, the same impact outside the U.S. Uh, as it has done in the U.S. So it's, it's far, far too early to conclude. Here at CIRA Week, there seems no doubt about one thing, that the shale finds blindsided almost every forecaster and have fundamentally changed the North American energy picture. But multiple speakers asserted that natural gas is not properly valued in climate and energy policies around the globe and they urged the gas industry to come together to change that. In Houston, I'm Margaret Ryan, Clean Skies News.